Good morning. What's up, Master Books, moms? Hey, um, today I have a special treat. I'm going to actually go over uh, our spring lineup of new releases for our curriculum. Let me give you a little bit of insights into the way uh, the publishing cycles work. So as a book publisher, we produce, we have two cycles of books. One cycle of books comes out in um, 2000 in the spring, and then the second is a fall line. And so every, every like the previous season, so the fall right now of 2018, uh, myself and the other salesmen are working to uh, go to resellers like Christian Book Distributors, Rainbow Resources, Mardell Christian Book Supply, which we were at yesterday. Uh, and we, we give a kind of a preview of, hey, this is what's coming down the pike what to get excited about, what to prepare to have in your catalogs, that type of thing. And so right now we're in the process of educating everybody as to um, uh, what's coming down the pike. We typically produce a catalog, something like this, 2018. And in the catalog, I'm giving you the, the insider's tips. In the catalog, there's what's called the front list. And so most publishers have a catalog with something called the front list. And those are the books that come out um, that are being published in that season. And then there's called the backlist titles. The backlist titles are titles that have already come out, been released, and um, and have um, are still available. And so in our catalog, of course, I think, I mean, I know we have total number of SKUs is like over 600, but these are all the titles that Masterbooks has available. In, through the three imprints that we have, which is New Leaf Publishing Group, has New Leaf Press, Master Books, and Attic Books. And so uh, what, what we're doing right now is going around and presenting. Wow, a lot of you have jumped on, it's awesome. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you exactly what I would give uh, one of the new, uh, or one of our uh, reseller accounts. And if you have questions, ask. I'm going to ask, though, that everybody that watches this video um, ret remains so, retain some level of self-control when it comes to these are coming in the spring. Um, the dates are projected. The covers and whatnot are also, uh, some of them may change. This isn't a final um, catalog. This is more of a coming soon, here's what to keep on your radar type thing. And as the dates get firmed up, projects come out, then we, we become much more um, finite in, in what we say we have. Okay, so that being said, one book that we have already, most of you have seen, I've done the video on it. This book is already out, One Blood for Kids. If you have read this book, I'd love it if you would just make a comment about it, if you've seen it, but this is a, just a, a great resource regarding racism for kids, uh, understanding that we are all um, one blood and, uh, and then our need to be in the blood of Jesus Christ. So uh, that one's already available. We're just putting it in the beginning. Okay. Coming in December, should be in December, I've had the opportunity to look at this. Uh, I know it was, it's in the final proofing stages, and it's already laid out. Uh, I know Kristen was going through it last night and said it is one of the best. She Well, she said it is the best logic book uh, she has seen in homeschooling. Uh, it, is, it is a full year course. It, is, um, it will have a student book and a teacher guide. Teacher guide will have the daily schedule and um, activity sheets, quizzes, tests, all of that. It is written by Dr. Jason Lyle. Uh, if you've been to the Creation Museum and you have had the pleasure of going into the planetarium, Dr. Lyle is the one who created that presentation. He has also written books like um, Ultimate Proof, Discerning Truth, Understanding Genesis. He has written Stargazer's Guide, a lot of our um, astronomy courses. He is a Christian astrophysicist who writes and speaks on various topics relating to science and the defense of Christian faith. He earned a PhD from astrophysics at the University of Colorado in Boulder. 
He is most well known for ultimate proof of creation, which demonstrates that biblical creation is, is the only logical possibilities for origins. So this logic book, um, it's, it's definitely, it's going to be designed for 7th to 8th graders. Uh, but I, I think we're also kind of recommending that it could be used um, as a high school level course as well, and perhaps half a credit, uh, that type of thing. That'll be flushed out a little bit more, but highly recommend this, even if you are not um, uh, going to use it with your student. I think this is great for an adult type course. So, all right, I'm trying to go through. Julie says, we're in the middle now, loving it. Karen, love One Blood for Kids. Stephanie, One Blood for Kids, amazing books. Kasha, One Blood for Kids is amazing. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I, I definitely um, recommend grabbing that book for your family library. Okay, so Logic coming out, and that'll be out in uh, December right now as a projection on that. Now, these are what we call trade books. These are books that will be sold in bookstores, on Amazon, uh, the Creation Museum, the Ark Encounter, that type of thing. But in this, in this arena, I think these are good books to keep on your radar. Glass House, it's being um, authored by a number of authors at Answers in Genesis. Ken Ham is the general editor. Um, what do you think of the cover? I, I pushed for the broken glass in the title. So let me know you love it, if, if please. Um, Covers are a funny thing. We do covers and then you go and do sales presentations and sometimes buyers are like, oh, that really resonates. We love it. And then other times they're like, who, who thought that concept was going to work? So this was my push. Um, this is basically, it's, it's evolutionists try to convince others that their evolutionary world is built on a solid foundation while they distract us from the fact that their house is only made of glass and the glass is breaking. And it really is. There are a number of scientists who say we, evolution just isn't a viable um, solution to the answers of origins. There's no, there's no proof of it. It's, it's, it's fictional. And the more that we study DNA and the human genome, um, project and, and some of these things, we're actually beginning to see that it's just not going to stand. So this book really points out a lot of those myths. Uh, reliable guidance in defending biblical creation against the onslaught of evolution clearly relates the fallacies and weaknesses that evolutionists don't want you to know and help you to stand in confidence as you learn to counter the glass house deceptions. I get to participate a lot of times with um, debates over our books in Facebook. And uh, it's amazing the arguments that will be thrown your way as to what is proof or what is acceptable beliefs for origins, which include evolution. And it's a hot topic in churches too. If you want to have a church split, just talk about creation versus evolution. We've got Glass House, um, just a good way to, to build up a defense towards the biblical worldview. Uh, okay, so as some more come in, uh, one race, one blood. Uh, this has been a book that has been out for a while and has been part of the the master books backlist, right? And is definitely something I recommend giving to people in regards to the topic of racism and understanding. Uh, the importance of that. This book is written by Ken Ham and Dr. Charles Ware. Charles Ware actually does um, uh, diversity training programs and whatnot for uh, like Walmart and different different companies. And so there's been a lot that he's developed and learned in addition to this. So this is being updated. If you have it in your library and like it, I think the new edition will be a great ad as well. So hopefully we're adding some people. Sorry again that it dropped off. Um, let's hope it doesn't do that again. Good morning, everybody. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The Wonders of Creation, Design in a Fallen World. This book is, it's about 216 pages. It is all color. Um, 
It's a beautiful presentation of God's design of the natural world. Discover unique and amazing truths that reveal the brilliance of our creator, the precision of the universe, the patterns in mathematics, the systems of our bodies, the unique qualities of birds, animals, insects, as well as much more. Uncover the evidence of our fallen world in a fossil and rock layers across the globe. Answers the vital question of how can the world, how the world cannot be a product of chance. Details numerous color images and illustrations showing amazing examples of design that you may never have never known. Reveals the importance of knowing the beginning of the world to understand its ending. Uh, something that I think is is very important as well. And um, this this book inside, I mean, it's just it's it's a great book for your library. There's no teacher guide yet for this. It may be something that we do look at developing. But at this point, we don't have that. Um, but highly recommend this book as well. And of course, I'll feature more and show you more on this book when it comes out. Right now, we're looking at it being available in January. I know it's on the table. Uh, being a final review is they're going through the cover design. They're going through it. So I don't see any reason why that's not going to be available as well in January. The authors themselves. Uh, Stuart Burgess has numerous academic posts, including engineering department at Cambridge University and the biology department at Liberty University. He has published over 150 scientific papers on science of design, written several books on apologetics, and is a popular international speaker. Andy McIntosh has had a long scientific research in mathematics as well as combustion and aeronautics. He is a visiting researcher at Leeds and an adjunct professor at Mississippi State University. A creation speaker and debater, he has authored many books and research articles. See, we have authors who actually are fairly uh, scientific and intelligent um, debating the topic. So, all right. One that you may be waiting for is Language Lessons for a Living Education, book five. Um, so book four is expected to be released. Hopefully it's gonna be released before the end of this year. I know a number of you are waiting for that. And then Language Lessons for a Living Education. We may have been a bit optimistic in the release date. So I'm gonna say it's more towards March, April, uh, but still it's gonna be, um, uh, it's going to be um, available pretty much before the convention season begins. So um, now if you have any questions on these, feel free to ask. This will be for uh, level five will be grade five. So we'll have two, three, four, and five. And then Kristen will be actually working then to redesign uh, the basic language skills and the, um, the grade six. Uh, series. So and these have just been well received. I know we've talked a lot about it, but with the new paper, uh, the new bindings that we're using, the book is amazing. Uh, the price on this will be $42.99. Because of the changes we're making to paper, perforations, those type of things to improve the quality, we have to increase the price a little bit. And so $42.99 will be on that. Now, if you don't know, the author of this curriculum is my wife. It's Kristen. She is the curriculum editor for Master Books. Um, she's been writing curriculum uh, and consulting here for the past six years. She has nine children. She's homeschooled successfully and graduated five of them. If I, I may be a bit biased, but can I tell you that they are the, the best um, young adults you'll ever meet. And... Um, she has helped thousands of families navigate curriculum choices. Uh, she had a homeschool curriculum business that served thousands of people, and that was sold to Christian Book Distributors in 2010. So she does know her stuff and has been homeschooling for 20 years, and um, very proud of her. Okay, let's see if we got any questions. Love language lessons. Yes. Yes. Uh, Kristen is the bomb. I agree. Can I, do you see the cover? Aren't they the cutest covers? They came up with a series of these. I think that this, uh, the, the designs of that are awesome. 
Okay. World story three is the explorers through the present day, an engaging Charlotte Mason inspired journey through world history. The exciting final volume of the World Story series teaches junior high students all about world history. From the explorers through the present day, in this story-based approach, you'll meet famous historical features, trace the rise and fall of the major colonial powers, and learn all about the thinkers who have influenced modern society, both good and bad. Through it all, students will see God's hand and redeeming love at work. Uses a conversational narrative to bring the world history to life. Gorgeous artwork, photographs, um, maps, help students visualize people, places, and events. Includes a teacher guide package, packed with questions and engaging activities to build thinking critical skills. If you don't know, Angela is the author of um, The Math Lessons for a Living Education, and she is also the author of America's Story. Uh, both are fantastic selling series, and we've had tremendous feedback from them. This, um, I think there's a real need for World Story. It's, it's done... There's, there are other stories of the world, if you will, that um, don't necessarily follow a biblical worldview. I think it's important to have a story of the world or a world story that does follow a biblical worldview, that does it from a way that is um, more conversational in tone, more of a little bit of a Charlotte Mason approach. Now, one thing I'll say, though, is as you're getting into junior high, you're, you're beginning to leave a little bit of the Charlotte Mason approach and move a little bit more towards, um, you know, there's more text, more, more question and that type of thing, um, because you're developing that thought process then to move into the high school levels. But a lot of times in homeschooling, we tend to focus on creation to Christ, and we don't necessarily get into the modern age and so much of the modern age is affecting so much of where we live today and operate that I think it's important for us to understand um, some of the foundations that we were built upon in this, in this more recent and modern age that we're living in. So um, I'm excited by this because then what you'll do is it'll be my story to America's story to world story one, two, and three. That will take you all the way from first grade to eighth grade with a, um, a, a Charlotte Mason type approach to, or Charlotte Mason flavored approach to history and social studies that will prepare you for a high school, a solid high school um, experience. Okay, so as I'm looking, Angela is the bomb, bombs away. Angela, Angela's here, let's see. Yes. Carity is using writing strands. I love writing strands. Um, I know at some point we may need to flesh out a few more things with writing strands, but I think the premise behind it is phenomenal, Carity. Uh, yes, this is Desiree. There's a need for world story is a great replacement. I, I think this is a fantastic product. And between the America story and world story for the um, K through, or first through eighth grade especially, I think um, would be very exciting. So, okay. ABCs and me. Uh, one of the benefits of this group is that we get to meet so many awesome people. And one of the people that we have met in this group, and we have also not only met in this group, but we made her a moderator. And then as we made her a moderator and she began talking, we realized that she had credentials and expertise in early childhood development. And as she looked at our kindergarten program, she had some great suggestions. And a lot of it fit the worldview that we have personally as a family as far as kindergartens. I think Carrie is part of this group, so I would encourage her to um, to join in if, if I say anything wrong, because that has been known to happen from time to time. So from that case, um, this is ABCs and Me is a frustration-free kindergarten curriculum that every child will love. That's a pretty bold promise, but, but we're going to make it. Um, 
Too often, our littlest learners are expected to achieve despite not having reached critical ready levels of readiness. It is so important they be taught with an approach that assesses and addresses their stage of development. Focused on skills developed through play and interaction, this kindergarten curriculum truly puts fun back into learning. It includes life skill activities, basic intro to academics, including language arts, social skills, conceptual math, exercises to make corrections. It's scheduled for three days a week of instruction with optional activity to those who want a full week of instruction. And it includes mini books, rhymes, and songs, and that type of thing. Um, Carrie has three children. She has a degree in early childhood education and has taught students with special needs in the public school system, not just special needs, but also um, in a standard class, I believe. Uh, and um, I'm excited by this because I believe that kindergarten, uh, I was a principal of a private school. We also had a preschool and a kindergarten in that school. I believe that the early learning, early development should not be focused heavily on do they understand algebra. It should be preparing them, helping them develop um, skills so that critical thinking skills, attention span, um, uh, I, don't, I don't think they need to, to do algebra in, in kindergarten. I think that they need to um, develop a joy of learning and also work on things like motor skills and hand-eye coordination, uh, communication skills, feelings, those types of things. And so a lot of this course is just gonna be focused on readiness, addressing it and assessing it, and then preparing them so that when they hit first grade, their brain is like, um, uh, how would I describe it? Think of an athlete, right? So if I'm going to run the Boston Marathon, I'm going to have a lot of trouble because I haven't prepared my body to do that. And so through the process, I may go out and I may be able to finish that race, all 26 miles of that race, but it's going to be excruciatingly painful. I'm not going to enjoy it at all. Um, now think of it if I prepared myself for that. So if I practiced it and I mentally got there and I was ready to get there, when I go and I run that 26 miles, I'm going to be in much better shape. It's going to be much easier and I'm going to enjoy the process a lot more than I would of just showing up and doing it in this condition, right? That's the way we approach learning sometimes. We want these kids to just start learning and go, and we don't prepare them mentally for the process that they're about to embark on. I think this book is really good, is going to be a good solution to help people, um, help kids develop this process and prepare them then for first grade to go into, uh, into you know, the, the more difficult challenges and that type of thing. Okay. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. Yes. All right, Carrie. So if I gave it right, let me know. Um, all right. Any questions so far? Don't be afraid to ask. Yes. Built up endurance, Carrie says. Okay. This is kind of a fun book. Dinosaur Fun. We used to sell this book, actually. It's a dry erase board inside. There used to be a pen packaged with it. We've taken the pen out of it. It's a dry erase pen. Your standard, um, any dry erase pen will work. It's got practice with letters. And so students can, can just practice writing the letters and it's all done with dinosaurs. Uh, it's an A to Z with delightful dinosaurs in a write and wipe format. Um, Learning letters is so much, can be so much fun. Each letter is highlighted with a dinosaur, starting with a letter that children are encouraged to trace each one and learn to write it for him or herself. Children will enjoy practicing over and over again as they enjoy some of God's wonderful dinosaurs with the Bible tells were created during day six during creation and also flying reptiles created on day five. This book is perfect for use at home, ideal for travel, um, created for hours of fun. Colorful illustrations enhance this unique multi-skill learning book, perfect for early learners and to practice writing ex exercises and recognition. Uh, children write and wipe away. It's a great reusable resource. So I think this will be a great supplement for uh, any kindergarten, first grade, second grade, where you want them to be practicing. 
uh, letter recognition and and practice writing and uh, this is this is just a fun book that's coming out it'll be retail price will be twelve ninety nine it's 10 by 10 it's a board book um, there's 26 pages in it and let's see okay Carrie says I did a great job thank you Carrie yes and this book right now we have it available in March I don't see any reason why not except that it's printed overseas um, so we just have to wait for the to receive that okay more than words more than words learn about the bible who god is and how we are to live in his world here we go the living faith it's more than words a living faith bible curriculum it's a charlotte mason approach to learning the bible the living faith bible series has been created for grades k through three and four through six uh, so there'll be a level one which will be early elementary level two which will be um uh, upper elementary and then I believe we've got two more levels that are going to come out later which would be junior high and high school and they would kind of go together um, every time it's Bible time pull this special book out because it's full of stories pages to color draw and beautiful paintings to learn about and poetry to read this is a journal to help students document their journeys with Jesus and learn more about who God is who they are in God what it means to be a Christian and live a life that can change the world Students will enjoy documenting their year's journey as they study the lessons Monday through Friday. It includes stories, journaling, props, learning with flashcards, copy work, and character studies. Weekly exercises focus on scripture, hymns, pictures, and basic writing skills. So this is going to be a, um, a Bible curriculum that can be used. Uh, you could use it almost as even a morning basket if you wanted to. Um, but here's what's exciting the author of this series if you can see is miss rebecca spooner uh, if you are a fan of homeschooling on and she has uh, reviewed and used a number she uses my story she uses language lessons she uses math lessons for a living education uh, i'm slowly working to convert her on everything master books does and and um we'll, we'll just continue praying but the, uh, we're excited that she's actually had an idea for this Bible uh, curriculum, which was very Charlotte Mason, hands-on, fun learning. And so she is authoring this series, More Than Words. So that'll be um, available in March is what we're calling for. Uh, the price on each level, it's a full year, 400 pages at least, uh, $42.99 uh, for those when you buy them off master books as part of a set i think they're still it's still like 36 32 to 36 dollars if you're buying more than uh you yeah. have so they're priced extremely well for homeschoolers okay yeah i think this is going to be a really cool bible curriculum so okay elements of faith now here's an exciting testimony okay about 13 or 14 years ago, we published this book, Elements of Faith, and it it was only part of the way through, and we had the content, so they said, let's do volume one. Hopefully, we'll get the rest of the content. We can do volume two. Um, something had happened, and, and there was a, a long pause, and we pretty much had said, this project, as much as we love it, um, probably isn't going to come to completion, and this is just... Um, if you've ever if you if you've seen ele the elements of faith as it, it goes through the entire periodic table and it makes it's almost like a bible devotional alongside with learning the science of each of the elements so like zinc the element of protection and there's a scripture you are my hiding place you preserve me from trouble you surround me with songs of deliverance there's data about zinc there's an analysis and usage there's a reaction, which is God's protection. And so it talks about, um, about kind of a devotional for it. Then there's some responses, some um, uh, like a answers question sheet type thing. This, everybody who's, who's ever seen this book absolutely loves this book. But we had given up hope, like I said. So a few, almost a month now, 
ago, I answered the phone. Somehow this call came to my desk and I answered the phone and it turned out to be the author and he was ordering some copies. And I said, hey, what about the rest of this book? Are we, are we ready to go? And he says, well, I've written it, but I didn't know if you guys were still interested and, and, and it's available. Well, here's the exciting thing. We are very interested because we absolutely love this book. And we will, we're in the process right now of putting together Elements of Faith, the complete edition um, with all of it, you know, all the, all the periodic table being talked about. Um, the Elements of Faith examines a periodic table, finds meaningful insights and spiritual applications as the students read through them. A look at the elements can teach many lessons from the awesomeness of God's creation to the dedication of many God-fearing scientists who have been so influential in history. Richard Duncan is a professor of engineering with a bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from the University of Cincinnati. Um, it's easy to see the wonder of God's creation all around us, but truly appreciate the incredible design, organization, and creativeness of our creator. You have to delve into the elements that make up our world. The study of the periodic table of elements reveals that each one is an opportunity to celebrate the power, wisdom, and order, and ingenuity of our creator. The added activities, quizzes, daily devotions, extra information, um, all help to create a powerful curriculum for the student of God's world. So this book, it will be $42.99. It is designed for a junior high science course. We're making, we're putting in a, um, a, uh, a daily schedule. It'll have, I think there's 104 plus elements. There will be some essays, quizzes. So it will be 180 days of, of science. We're going to offer this as a junior high solution, but we're also going to offer it as a pre-chemistry. So this is being designed to pair up and match with our master's class chemistry, that a student could actually take this, have a year of looking at the periodic table and understanding how all matter is, is, is made, right? And, and have that. So then when they go into the master class chemistry with the labs and whatnot, they've got a really solid foundation in the periodic table. So it would be like a half a credit of pre-chemistry which I think is unique and awesomeness all wrapped up. Um, so this is, even just as a family morning basket item, this is something that would be fun to do from that standpoint. And, and we probably will even try to release that morning basket option because the devotional, the scripture, all of it is fantastic. So excited about that, if you can't tell. And I'm really excited about God's providence um, that that he knows exactly the timing that this book should be released and that I would be able to be part of that. Okay. Math lessons for a living education level K. Isn't that exciting? So we have one through six, but we have level K, the highly anticipated foundational book for this much loved series. Um, we, we, following what we know that we need to prepare students for readiness, attention, uh, hand-eye coordination, um, the brain development side, Math Level K is going to be a book set up to do that so that by the time they move to Math Level 1, they have had a lot of practice with the developmental side. So this will coordinate well with the ABCs and Me kindergarten development program. This will have more math, more practice, more exercises regarding math. But for a lot of you who want to have a kindergarten type solution or an early learning program, this will serve us well. Let's see. Carity says, one half credit of pre-chemistry, what a great concept. See, I think so too. I think that's brilliant. I don't know. The marketing department here just has, is dripping with brilliance. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's here to contest me right now, so I, I can do this. Um, let's see, I'm excited here about kindergarten front covers, fully approved for the five-year-old. Yeah, isn't that kindergarten cover pretty cool? So we have birds and dogs and giraffes and all different kinds of animals, but fish is pretty cool. So um, excited by that. 
That'll be coming in at $42.99 as well. Um, and that'll have the new paper, the new binding, all of that. Okay. We have some awesome titles coming out this season. I'm excited. Master's class. This is the biology, which will be the ninth grade. Um, it's written by Dr. Dennis Englund, which is the author also of our chemistry course, which I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I'd had as a student. Um, I can't tell you how much I wish I'd had that chemistry. I, I absolutely love how he relates chemistry to the real world applications and just makes it so much easier to understand. Um, Many come away with a biology class thinking biology is about death because I spend all their time cutting up dead things. To the contrary, biology is a study of living things. When God created Adam, he formed the man of the dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living creature. It's a 36-week study of biology, begins with the overview of chemistry, while opening a deeper understanding of the living things that God created. Uh, the course moves through the nature of cells, ecosystems, biomes, the genetic code, plant and animal taxonomies, and more. Uh, Dr. Englund has taught animal biology, vertebrate biology, wildlife biology, organism biology for many years at Masters University, and he's just retired. But I like his educational philosophies, and the way he teaches is very applied, which fits Master Book's method well. And I think. What do you think of the cover? Again, I pushed for that cover. There's just something about it that attracted me, but um, covers here are always a debate. So uh, pouring and storing with brilliance. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Let's see. Yeah, Facebook has given me a lot of fun today for some reason. Um, Okay, what grade is that for? Comments are coming in fast enough that I have a hard time. Let's see, the, the chemist, the, the elements of faith would be a seventh and eighth grade course, ideally. But if you wanted to do it as a high school course, it, as a pre-chemistry course, then you could do it probably be like ninth grade or um, you, I would combine it maybe in ninth grade with, with like the biology course and you'd have a credit of biology and half a credit for the pre-chem course and then a full credit for the chemistry. So uh, this should be available in April. They're working on laying it out right now. Um, I know they're doing the labs. We're looking at a lot of different solutions for microscopes. Um, I think there's even talk about maybe just doing kind of a, a microscope book, which I think is a fantastic idea down the road of this is what you would see as you look into the microscope, how to do some different things. Um, but this course uh, will definitely be, you know, there's a popular, there's a popular science course available. And when a lot of these courses were written as homeschoolers, we really wanted to have almost college level textbooks because we didn't want anyone questioning the integrity of our academic programs. Well, kids are overwhelmed with them. Now, not a science minded kid, they enjoy it. But for the average kid who has to take a biology course or a chemistry course, they're just overwhelmed by the amount of information they're being given. The information that's given by Dr. Anglin is very practical, it's applied, it, it's something that they can relate to, um, and, and I think is, is a fantastic for the students who, who um, it'll help them understand and love biology. It won't just be a course that they have to endure. So it is a huge crawdad, yes, in formaldehyde. My, my, um, I'm having a hard time getting through my, uh, my comments. I'm sorry. So I will go through and, and make sure I answer any questions that we have. Please keep commenting because I want to know your thoughts on what we're presenting. Um, and, and I'll promise I'll go back through all of it. So if you have any questions, be sure to ask. Okay. Okay. So the biology book will be coming out. Um, Another product that we have is Adventures in Creation. This is a science series designed for students in grade K through three. We'll bring the Bible to life and still a love of science through exploration, investigations, biblically inspired stories. Students will discover that science is a wonderful tool God has given 
us to study his creation and learn more about his nature as they ask questions and experience God's world through science. This features hands-on study, easy preparation, reading practice, and a Charlotte Mason flavor. Stories are designed so students who are reading or just learning to read will be able to read portions along with the parent. Includes biblical connections to scientific principles. Uh, it's written by Carrie Lindquist, who is my daughter as well, um, even though she gave up the name and, and the, the sadness of that. But... Um, she she also wrote Foundation Phonics, which um, is a solution that if you're looking for um, kind of the modern mama's approach to teaching your kids to read, uh, that's that's what that does. This is going to be a very engaging, hands-on, biblically-based Charlotte Mason approach to science. Uh, we have God's design for the advanced grades. Answers in Genesis is doing some beginners levels that we're able to license. Um, we did the, the life science and we're doing the, um, the uh, heaven and earth. But I think those are the only ones that they're actually going to do. So beyond that, we're, we're going to be, uh, we want something for K through three that's very designed, uh, engaging Charlotte Mason approach, fits well with math lessons for living education, language lessons for living education, uh, my story. Um, this, this would be a science that would be very well integrated to that style of learning, you know, one page day type concept, but very hands-on and applicable. Leave and cleave, Randy, Angela says. Isn't that difficult? Any parents out there who have, who have had their children, we have five now, Two are currently like getting ready to leave the nest. We're seeing them flap their wings and, and do their little preparation to fly away. Um, it is so hard not to grab their little feet and glue them to the nest. So we have three that have left, but now these next two, um, oh man, break your heart. All right, sorry, I got distracted. Okay. This is a preliminary cover. It was done quickly so that we could present something. Don't judge the book by its cover. Um, this is a, we believe, Doctrines of the Christian Faith, written by Israel Wayne. It is a uh, powerful apologetics resource for families. Biblical illiteracy is rampant in our day. Even in most adult evangelicals do not truly understand biblical doctrine or know why they believe what they do. Nothing is more important than laying the right foundation for our children. We believe introduces elementary students to the core doctrines taught and being embraced and taught by all the true Christian churches since the time of apostles. Um, In-depth but friendly apologetics course, pretty much for upper elementary students, non-denominational approach based largely on the Nicene Creed, unpacks key doctrines and scriptures of sin, salvation, sanctification, and more. If you know Israel Wayne, he's been part of the homeschool community for a lot of years. He's a member of this group. Uh, he's authored um, questions, questions Jesus asked, questions God asked, education, does God have an opinion, pitch and a fit. Um, I may be forgetting one, but he is, we've, we've traveled together, we've done conferences together. So if you're part of this group, you know that there have been some debates about curriculums that are being published that are not Christian, that are calling themselves Christian. And, and one of the dangers that we see is that a lot of Christian families don't actually understand the statement, what's their statement of faith? What do they believe and why do they believe it? Why the Nicene Creed? Um, the, a lot of evangelical Christian churches can agree with the Nicene Creed. And what does that mean? Who do we believe God is? God the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, all of these things. And this is, we feel this is a foundational course. And what a, what a student will actually be doing, what a family will be doing throughout the process of this course is writing a statement of faith. So, so at the end of this course, you'll be able to say, we are the Pratt family. These, this is my statement of faith. I believe that God, that God is sovereign, that God exists in three persons, that blah, blah, blah. And so it introduces them to the statement of faith, why we believe that, what the scriptures are behind it, and then becomes kind of a guiding principle. So then when you're, somebody approaches you and says, 
uh, somebody knocks at the door, right, and they they say something, does what they're saying line up with what your statement of faith is? Uh, and I just think it's going to be a powerful tool for families to use. Um, and uh, I, I think Israel is the perfect person to write this course. So I'm excited about that. It'll be uh, one book, and uh, the book is coming in at $36.99 and would be a great Bible curriculum or apologetics curriculum for your elementary family would be a great morning basket type approach as well. So, okay. Just, I, every now and then I get to go um, to my comments. Okay. The very best plan. Uh, I believe a member, member of this group, Amanda Davis, um, we had a contest a while ago, the uh, poem about marriage. If you could write a poem about marriage, we went through a lot of poems and the editors chose the one that they felt best conveyed the spirit of what we were looking to have. Um, Marriage is under attack, right? And so in, in the book of Genesis, we understand how God intended it. One man, one woman, um, Adam and Eve, not Adam and, or, yeah, Adam and Eve, not Steve and Steve, you know, all those things. And so this book is really set up in a very cute way to explain God's plan, the very best plan for marriage. Takes them on, readers on a journey that includes famous biblical fam families, catchy rhyming poem with cute illustrations that captivate adults, children and adults alike. It's a wonderful teaching resource and gift idea for boys and girls. So this isn't a curriculum. It is a board book. It's ideal for preschool, early learning, to just talk about God's plan for marriage and how he intended um, the family unit to exist and function. And so uh, I'm excited about this book. I do, I want to see this book um, really take off because it is such a hot issue for families today. So, okay. Wow, I'm going. Okay, Civics in the Constitution. Phenomenal opportunity. We, high school level course, it will be um, probably like a grade uh, 11 grade 12 type course. It's being taught by Jake McCauley who teaches um, on the Constitution. He, he travels all over and speaks and it will have DVD instruction, the student book, the teacher book, and I I watched the, his his DVD presentations and I was just, I was blown away by it. I was so excited about the Constitution and how intelligently it was written, the foundations of it, and I just I got excited about the project, and I think even he even talks about creation and how how when you believe in creation, the Constitution makes so much more sense because we're talking about created beings, and when you break apart the creation um, and being part of God's design, and and you have the process of death, disease, and struggle, survival of the fittest, how the Constitution begins to lose its effectiveness. And so it's a civics course, constitution course. I think there's there are over 15 lectures on the DVDs. Um, fast paced, let's see, take a fast paced and issue focused course in the US Constitution in this one semester course, complete the video lectures, delve into history, meaning daily functions of the US Constitution in your life and nation. From the original meaning to the controversies that arise from reinterpretations, you'll understand how and why the Founding Fathers fashioned a document of God-given rights that have stood the test of time and political tinkering. Includes additional readings and topics, topical issues taken from hot-button headlines like impeachment, additional amendments, and the role of executive orders. Provides a framework for understanding the concepts that form the structure of the daily governance of our nation and the duties of our citizenry. What a big word. Um, a revealing look at how every branch of government has too often played a role in trying to alter, reinterpret, and ignore the provisions and protections as written. And so um, that course will be, it looks like it's available in May is what we're looking at. Um, I know it's being written and worked on 
And uh, I think the, I love the cover of this as well. I think it's just, it's, it's really appealing. And this is gonna be a best-selling course. I have no doubt about it uh, because there's nothing like it. And um, I think even as parents, it would be great for us to watch this and have it so that if you have younger students and you're beginning to teach them history and you're beginning to talk about things about government or what's going on in the news, this would give you a, a solid foundation to help you disciple your students. So, okay. And last but not least, uh, the Math Lessons for a Living Education, um, extremely popular series. Some of the friction points that we see in the market, we just wanna prepare some supplement products, certainly not requirements, uh, but sometimes just having like the, uh, the right brain flashcards developed. Um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, that's what we're working on this series. We've got some other things that we're talking about that we could develop so that families um, it's just a little more easy to, to do the course. These will be written, you know, a lot of your cards uh, are written with like a glossy um, covering. These will have rounded edges. Um, they will be written more in a, in a card stock where the children can still decorate them and, and make them their own and personalize them. But the basic one plus one equals two will be on one side, flip it over to be one plus one. Um, so just some a simple add-on that you can do to the math lessons to make it just a little bit easier and remove one of the friction points that, that people have expressed to us as being con a concern. So that completes what we're working on. Um, the amount of work that it takes to bring these to life is incredible. Our editors are working to make that happen. And, and, and keep them in prayer if you would, because it's not easy. It goes through the editorial process. I've explained before on this channel, um, the editorial process to design, to proofers, to uh, the structural editors, you name it. It's going through a lot of processes to come out in a final form. And uh, we have a lot of projects that we're working on to, to bring to life um, to serve this market. So that's what spring 2019 looks like. I'm excited by it because we're going to see, you know, like World Story is being completed. And so that series will be a complete series. Um, language Lessons has been extremely well received. And so there's a lot of demand for the coming books of that project. Uh, just... Um, the kindergarten focus on kindergarten and early learning. I'm excited to see that coming in because we're seeing uh, exciting testimonies uh, here in the group and elsewhere as kids get excited about God's creation. And they understand that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And, and that's knowing who God is and that he's the boss and he created it. And when we follow his rules and his plans, life just gets better. So exciting things are coming, and um, we will keep you up to date as we receive more information on this. And uh, I guess that's it for today. So God bless everyone. I pray you have a blessed weekend. Thank goodness it's Frowny Face Free Friday, uh, and, and uh, we have the weekend to look forward to. God bless you all. Talk to you later.